there's a couple of things that you want to get right with two-factor authentication. I'm going to talk about removing your mobile phone number from two-factor authentication. Very important for your Google account. And secondly, we're going to enforce this as a policy as well across our organization. Two-factor authentication is pretty mandatory, pretty hard to set up an account without it these days, particularly a Google account. They pretty much force it on you. But there's a couple of things that you want to get right with two-factor authentication. I'm going to talk about removing your mobile phone number from two-factor authentication. Very important for your Google account. And secondly, we're going to enforce this as a policy as well across our organization. If you want to access your security settings, you click on your profile photo, and then you go to manage your Google account. And then we go to the security tab. Cool. And you'll see your sign-ins here. So you can see here, two-step verification switched on. Great. So you can see here under my authentication methods, I'm using the Google prompt, which is the push notification that comes through. I'm using an authenticator app. So you can use the Google authenticator app plenty of other apps for authenticating and receiving backup codes. They're the random generated codes. I also have backup codes available too, which I have saved in my vault. I'm not using my mobile phone for text messages or for phone calls. In the past, it was safe to use your phone. It's not really safe these days if you're a key person. It's probably all right for your staff because their accounts are less likely to be a sophisticated target. But you as a business owner, you are what's known as key target. Uh, what that means is anyone who's trying to steal your information is probably going to be using somehow your information to call your telco provider, pretend to be you and try and port your number to a new device or a new SIM card. So you want to switch off your mobile phone as an authentication device and you want to use the prompts or an authenticator app rather than the device. Okay, that's step one. Step two is how do we roll this out as a policy for our team? So as a policy, you can go into your admin panel again under the security menu, under authentication, and then two-step verification. You wanna make sure that you have two-step authentication set on as a policy across your business. Now, I don't recommend switching it on immediately if it's currently off. I recommend saying on from a date, a week in the future to give your staff time to set it up on their account. Otherwise, they're locked out. So set it up a week from now and then educate your staff on how to switch it on. They need to go to their mic account they need to switch it on. And here you can choose if you want to disallow them from using text or phone calls. That's my recommendation. You can switch that off there as a policy for everyone. That's two-step authentication. I'm assuming most people have that set up for your account already, but adding the policy in is a good additional step. Next up is password policy. And same again, we're gonna go into our admin panel and we're gonna make sure that there's a good password policy set for each one of our staff. So it's also in the authentication and the security menu, there's password management here. You can choose to enforce a strong password. It's my strong recommendation. 10 characters is fine. That's going to keep that locked down. Now for our team, their passwords expire every 30 days. They've got to exchange them. We're effectively like a vault, like we've got thousands of customers, tens of thousands of employees that we manage. And so we're pretty stringent with rotating passwords, but you can probably safely put this for 180 days, maybe even once a year for your team. For yourself, I would say probably 90 days, ideally rotating passwords for your account if possible. There are new features like passwordless authentication, allowing you to use pass keys, using these for your Mac, using these from your phone or an Android device works absolutely fine. Go ahead and switch that on if you like. Uh, we haven't yet rolled it out to our team here because we're using some single sign-on stuff that it's not compatible with yet, but go ahead and switch this on, start using it if you'd like. It's pretty similar to using a password and strong two-factor authentication, but this is a good additional layer of authentication if you wanna do that. That's more of an advanced tip for those that are a bit further along. If you still have questions on this topic, drop them down below in the comments.